Outlast 2 has finally been announced, then it was banned in Australia, then it was unbanned. Microsoft announced Destiny 2 and a DIY Nintendo Switch made by a kid. We've got all this and more. My name is Kenny, and this is your Press Start News Roundup. Now, moment of truth here. I've probably been stalking game developer Red Barrel Studios for weeks now on any news of their sequel to the terrifying game Outlast. But finally, Outlast 2 has been announced for release on April 25th, and I have something to look forward to in a matter of few weeks. So for a while, Red Barrel Studios didn't say much about Outlast 2 until Valentine's Day of all days. Red Barrels posted an eerie teaser from the game on their Facebook page, and it featured the voice of a new character in Outlast 2, paired with imagery of what looked like a twisted version of an angel. Fast forward a few weeks later, and we finally received the announcement that Outlast 2 will be available digitally on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Now, along with a digital launch, a physical collection of the Outlast series called Outlast Trinity will be available to purchase as well. Outlast Trinity includes the first Outlast, the Whistleblower DLC, and the new Outlast 2. Prices haven't been released yet, and details of the new story haven't been too specific. But what we do know about the story is that Outlast 2 places two journalists, Blake Langerman and his wife Lynn, searching the Arizona desert for answers to uncover the mystery behind a murder of a Jane Doe. The journalists get separated from each other, and so the player naturally must uncover the truth behind what's really happening in the Arizona desert before they lose their mind in the process. When it came to giving an Outlast 2 official rating in Australia, the Australian classification branch banned it. However, it was later revealed that the ban was in response to the wrong game footage being sent in for a rating, and after review of the correct footage, the game was unbanned, so now Australia will sell the game after all. On a similar note to game announcements, Bungie announced that Destiny 2 will be released on September 8th on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Along with the news on the release date and available platforms, Bungie debuted a trailer to go along with the announcement. Now, despite the drama surrounding the first game, it seems like Destiny 2 will be the big reset button for Bungie on the series. The story of Destiny 2 follows humanity's struggle against Gaul, who is the commander of the Red Legion, who are known to be very brutal. Now, in order to save humanity, he must travel to new worlds and find new weapons and combat techniques to reunite the Guardians to save humanity against Gaul. Destiny 2 will have a beta coming this summer, and it's available to those who pre-order the game. Also, Bungie stated that Destiny 2 will feature PlayStation-exclusive content that's slated to have more info released this summer as well. Additionally, a live stream of the gameplay is scheduled for May 18th, thanks to Bungie. So, the Chronicles of Destiny will continue on September 8th, and we'll see how it goes the second time around. Lastly, Nintendo Switch is finally available to the public, and it's been met with pretty positive reviews. So much so that Nintendo will reportedly double its production of the Nintendo Switch to keep up with the demand from 8 million units to 16 million units. Furthermore, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has certainly drawn up a lot of praise for the new gaming system. So with all this positive news, it's easy to want to get swept up in the excitement and drop the $300 to get this console. For one kid in Japan, this wasn't the case. A user on Twitter named Amachan posted a video to her account of her fifth grade brother that made his own Nintendo Switch out of cardboard because his mother wouldn't buy the console. The video shows her little brother playing with the cardboard Switch and it's actually designed so well that it kind of functions like the real deal, minus the actual hardware and LCD screen, of course. Amachan's little brother has dreams of making video games in the future and based on the cardboard Nintendo Switch, he's well on his way. That's all the news we have for you this time around. My name is Kiani, and this has been your Press Start News Roundup. <laughs>